the U.S. government has been planning to topple the Egyptian president for the past three years. Well, that's according to diplomatic cables released by WikiLeaks. The files show Washington had been secretly backing leading figures behind the uprising. Reportedly now, some 50 people have died and hundreds more injured in the nationwide demonstrations since Tuesday. Protesters have returned to Cairo's central square this morning, reiterating calls for President Hosni Mubarak to step down. Earlier, the president dismissed his government but refused to quit. Unrest in Egypt comes weeks after a month of chaos in Tunisia, which saw 80 deaths and the president being toppled before fleeing into exile. Investigative journalist Webster Tarpley told RT that Washington wants to put new leaders in power in the Arab world to follow the U.S. agenda. I think what we have, obviously, is the, is the CIA, no doubt about it. They are playing the card of mob rule. The technical term is ochlocracy across the entire Arab world. It looks to me like a va-bank, right? It's a double or nothing strategy. They, they seem to be shooting the works for destabilization. Mubarak is not dependent enough. He's not dependent enough on NATO. He's not dependent enough on the IMF. Uh, above all, they're looking for some kind of en energetic regimes that could be played against Iran. Uh, or for other, other purposes. Um, they're also trying to appeal to this generation of young nihilists across the Arab world whose imaginations have been captured by Assange. Now, underneath that, there are real grievances, the food price, the gasoline price, the unemployment. But those really have more to do with the Wall Street depression than with somebody like uh, Mubarak. Then, of course, there is the question of political oppression and repression, which has been going on uh, uh, in Egypt. Look at the weakness of the U.S. The U.S. could not determine the government in Iraq, even though the U.S. is occupying the country. They wanted Alawi, they got Maliki, the pro-Iranian. Pro in Lebanon, the U.S. has tremendous influence, right? That's another country that's heavily aid dependent. In this case, the, the, uh, the new government is more controlled by Hezbollah than by the United States. So it would seem to me now that we're going to find out soon enough whether the weakness of the U.S. has reached such a point that they can no longer overthrow a government like Egypt. And of course, in Iran, in June and July of 2009, there was an attempt to have the Twitter revolution, yet another color revolution. That one failed, similarly in Lebanon. Whenever you're dealing with a, with a well-organized force that opposes the color revolution, the CIA people power coup has a very, very hard time in succeeding. If the army and the police continue to support Mubarak, and the internet stays turned off, then it looks to me like the, the smart bet is probably that this is not going to be a cakewalk for these uh, demonstrators. And uh, the, the other question, of course, is what's their program? Do they have any solutions for anything? Their solution seems to be down with Mubarak. Some people would say that if uh, the Muslim Brotherhood gets the upper hand, the army might step in. Some people in the, um, in the uh, demonstration seem to want the army to take over, but that would simply be a new Mubarak.